All right. Looks like I'm picking this up in the middle of a mission. Um, so after talking about how stable this game is and how nicely it runs for a little while, <laughs> my game hard crashed on me and um, forced me to restart my computer. But to, in fairness to The Division 2, it might actually be because I had some Windows updates I needed to perform. So I'll, I'll give it a bit of a pass on that one. But what I was saying, because I've now got to sort of start from the top, is um, I've been playing the Division Two. Changing the credentials. Authenticated. I suppose. There should because, be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node. Um, a friend of mine from work was telling me to get it, Incoming and I said I definitely request. can't go drinking for St. Patrick's Day and authorization Friday. granted. Please stand by. I ended up playing Cards Against Humanity for a little while. Intelligence system analytic computer so didn't even have to pay for cab. All Isaac subsystems. And um, spent no money that night, so um, that was the last my, step to getting Isaac fully restored. Locally. Is this we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. My, um, and my triple mood monkey. that I was into Continue because your sweep of, of the alcohol. complex. I uh, bought the division too. The standard Hostile division radio. because I learned my lesson buying the Hello? game of the year. Um, is this the division? Ultimate edition or whatever. Looking for someone? PS4. Who is this? Back when the original How are you on this channel? Out, Friend of yours gave me a real nice wristwatch. He's right here. Wanna talk to him? Not sticking around for any of the DLC because I if got bored. If you want him back, we can make a deal. But, um, you back off. This one, I guess, I've been quite fun so far. It might just be because I'm playing. Just find that hyena piece of shit and beat your head. So it seems that things like the first person shooting mechanics of this is the third person shooting mechanics are very tight. And I could be using keyboard aim, but everything just feels kind of good to do. And, um, I used to always kind of think of Destiny as like the looter game that sort of just kind of feels like that, but the game doesn't really step it up for this. It, it plays similarly enough to the original, but the enemies all kind of feel less bullet spongy than they did before. It almost seems like an appropriate amount of rounds are going into the enemies I'm fighting, and they, they go down quickly I'm enough that I can make body armor, the, I, there's enough of a damage multiplier for headshots, so things just don't feel as like ridiculous as they did in the first game, or at least from what I remember. And again, like, I, I might not be being fair to the Division 1, but I, I did not play it extensively. I was a hardcore Division player. I, I played the campaign and the first incursion and kind of gave up after the one. I did some Dark Zone running with my, my tech drone people who were like my old bestie. But uh, I think because we were all used to like raiding in Destiny, it was a complex multi Various RC cards ever. But yeah, we were into Destiny rating, which were kind of complex, multi-layered combat puzzles. And to go from that to the incursions, it just felt like wave after wave of super difficult bullet sponge enemies that didn't really require any strategy, better gear than what we had for the most part. It felt like it just it wasn't enough from like a, a substance point of view for us, so pretty much all of us gave up on it. I'm sure there were, I mean, if any of the technical ones watching this, I'm sure there were one or two people that really stuck hey guys, it out through all the DLC, I'm still willing but to deal, but you I had all back. the DLC purchased because I, I got the ultimate edition of the game, and to this day I have She's not played a single minute reckless. of just Division 1 DLC, just because I didn't really have any interest in going back to it after I gave it up. But I mean, now like I've kind of stopped playing Destiny, and not for any real serious reason, just because uh, I'm just not into it anymore. And it gets more complicated than that, but I'll be specific. I played a little bit. Anthem didn't really seem like it would be uh, what I wanted to see, at least now. At some point, but launch day Anthem didn't seem like it was for me. So I skipped Anthem, but I got back to I do enjoy my PC gaming, so I think because I had a group of friends at work that were all playing on PC, they were not going to do it anymore. I was like, nah, I don't want to play the Division 2, but I was lying about that apparently. And so far, I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm in the kind of honeymoon phase of the game right now. I've been playing it for like less than 24 hours, so any level of impressed I am with it is bound to decline over time. Or well, who knows? I mean, if it keeps this level of interest. Uh, for now, 
So uh, if you're curious about what I'm going to do, I can do it. But I can tell you that I'm happy to do it. And now I'll stop taking questions and we'll just go to the second mission. The secret one didn't see them. The two abilities I'm running right now are Super Mind and this thing called the Reflection. Oh, 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 oh. So I see when you bounce on the back, you can go to the end of the See, now that I've destroyed the boss, I can hit it and just take normal damage if I get that one spot. I didn't see exactly what I knocked off, and so I'm you know, kicking myself because I'm watching that in the video. I'll be able to see the back Oh, it looks like his left, left arm. There we go. And see, he, he goes down pretty quick once you chip off enough of the body armor. So once I started focusing fire on his left arm, I was able to take him down pretty quickly. And that feels a lot better than in the original game when, again, my one experience with it was just they just so goddamn killed it. And I keep on pumping bullet after bullet into an exposed head, and that health bar just chips down relative to your gear level, but not at all to the fact that you're putting bullets into a human being. It seems though that Ubisoft has at least made an Agent effort. Vital signs. Oh, Zero. That's a friendly. He at least made an here. effort to minimize the guy in the head, he's wearing a ski mask. He should, should not be able to take 20 rounds from the whole guy. He's in the <laughs> I'll tell you this much, in my experience as an army medic, you know how to know how many 45 AC rounds I'm going to take to the head? One. That's it. <laughs> Done after that. Even if you're wearing a helmet, you take like a 762 shot, you're not, not going to be in good shape. Right, that is good. Take a couple of rounds to what looks like a pretty good thing. So take a few normal damage. Uh, I can buy it. I can suspend my disbelief. I don't know the panic here is a lower. This is uh, definitely a stop and pop shooter. You can do a bit of running and gunning in it, but cover is extremely. I haven't exactly got a good grasp on the health system, but this thing I'm picking up here is a shield attack. I now have two of them. And they recover my shields. My shields tend to recover on their own at certain points. I think it's just when a combat encounter is over. But, um... Maybe in the no respawn zones they don't. So it's not exactly a, a standard recharging health thing. The health bar that's underneath the shield is more But not the shield itself. Those you have to use that attack or I can get out of the respawn. Oh, now you got hit with fusion as well. I've noticed that what that does is it 
actually messing with your, with your controls. See you next time on Mark the Cyborg's YouTube channel. That's just my screen name. The YouTube channel is actually called Mark Bosher. Yeah.